They're slow to it, man. Just creep. Look at that. It's just creeping towards it. Oh, he oh, he crushed. Oh, he's still on it. He's still on it. He ate it on the paws. God damn. That was a nice one. It felt good. Maybe when it warms up, they'll get a little bit more bitey over here, but for whatever reason, they're just not having it. I'm gonna take that as a cue. We got some bickering going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I was wondering, dude. I mean, that guy's idle right in front of where they're fishing. It's kind of a dick move. Yeah, it is. What, like, seriously, what is he doing? <laughs> what? What's he doing? What is dumb? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> what no happened? way. Wow. Look at that, the side plates. I don't on. think I've ever seen that before. You're talking about how it was loose, and then now it's just off. I guess that solves your problem. It's no longer loose. Yeah, that's true. Here. Just here, do this. Very cool. Watch this. Thank you. Just go like this. <laughs> right? Just slow. <laughs> just slow it. <laughs> It'd be good for a jig. Is it just like in front of us? No, it looks like it, it's in front of us. It might go to the left a little bit too. You eat a bubble, you're just gonna stare at it. There he goes. There we go. Finally. Decent one. Yeah. I had the downsize for him though. Look how wow dude, this fish looks crazy. He's like gray. Finally. In the boat. Oh yeah. That's a fat little dude. My first fish of the day. I had to downsize. We've been seeing fish all morning. It's been kind of a slow start. But I think we're slowly figuring it out. They're chasing the jerk bait. Seems super interesting lipless, but literally first cast with the the tiny Guggen sausage swimmer. And that's what got it to bite. Such a crazy fish. It's sad to think that this uh, this might be the last and only day we get the fish out here. I feel like we can figure them out. We're just gonna have to really be diligent with changing up our baits, like not getting married to one tactic. Nice little bass though. Thanks, bud. See you later. Take care. It has less of a fall off, so I can see my bait from like all the way out. Oh, you got the new one? I did, I f***ing don't know why. I went to drop my motor off or my troll my other troll motor off for repair and I had that there. I'm like, God, I like it a lot. I think it's a pretty, honestly, a pretty decent difference. Yup. Okay. Something new. Whoa, what the f is going on over there? Oh, what's going on over there is bass and they're chasing me. Come on, crush it. They're all over me. He's literally on top of me. What the f Eat it. God, I hate that so much. That was crazy. They were like stacked on top of each other. That was cool. decent ones too. Whole school of them. Whole school of them. Yeah, I'll take that. That was fun. Nothing like, nothing like a nice little two pounder on the spinning rod. Found a whole school of them down there. They're not very big, but they're quality on the micro saucy swimmer. Nice little Ellen busy. Thanks bud. Oh, he sees it. Oh, that's a big one, dude. God, I love it. These guys are gonna eat it. No, spooked him. Got him. Oh my God. No way. Can hit from the chin, dude. <laughs> the chin. That was it's sexy. Hooks on the top, so here. That was sexy. Holy <laughs> I wish my. Look at this, you guys. Like, this is insane. Those are all like really quality bass. 
just falling in my swim bait right now. And most importantly, just not eating. Oh my God, dude, look at those two belugas. That's a good one. Got him, got him. That was awesome. That was sweet, dude. <laughs> Best follow up bait for those two. Decent little fish. Ooh, pulling good, not a giant, but we'll take him. Oh, this is crazy, man, this is crazy. Of course, the little one commits. Come here, Bubba. Oh, I got you. Usually if I do this, someone catches a giant fish in the background, so I'm, I'm waiting on it. Grady and I uh, pulled up to this creek arm right now. It's a little tiny creek arm close to the dam, and when we first came up here, we were like kind of fishing shallow, looking around, and, all of a sudden we just started seeing these huge blobs like right in the middle of the creek channel and like 13, 14 feet of water, but the, the fish were sitting like right below the surface, which is kind of contingent to uh, to carp. Let me put this guy back. Oh God, he bit me. But they ended up all being bass. I was like, they're not eating, they're not following the little swim bait in, they're not following the jerk bait. like, let's try something else. So we throw in the big glides and then like that really got them going. Could not connect with any of them. We literally moved like eight fish. For my assessment, using live scope, they all look like they're over eight pounds. Like I was telling Grady, like that was a 35 pound sack that we just went over. We're trying to get them to commit. I think maybe later in the day they might, but it's interesting to see these big fish in the middle of the creek channel. I imagine as it warms up, they'll move out of that deep water and they'll kind of push up here and start thinking about spawning. But uh, got one on you? Stick them, stick them. I mean, it's, cr it's crazy. I'm trying to record the screen right now so you guys can see these fish throw themselves at the bait and not get hooked. It's wild. Like we're, we're, we're slowly figuring out and the big glide might be the move, but Grady moved a couple of fish and I followed it up with a jerk bait and that was that little guy. So look at that little asshole. Yeah, these, by the way, I would like to point out these fish are being complete and utter assholes right now. It's a good excuse for just sucking at fishing, but they're being assholes. <laughs> so I'm coming out of the, there he is. Out of the grass. There we go. It'd be nice if we could boost our average oh, there. Them too. Oh really? Yeah. You want to see what's? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh dude, that's a that's a, that's a big it's one. <laughs> look at my fish compared to that my little one. <laughs> oh, of course I had like a uh, what was that? Like a 13 pounder. 13 pounder falling on my one pounder. We're getting some numbers, just not not the size. This is still fun though. Anytime you can get on a rip bait or a moving bait bite, it's fun. That's crazy. We're actually recording on my screen right now to give you guys a perspective as to how obnoxious these fish are being. And, um, you know, we're getting the little ones to bite, but the big ones, tricky little, tricky little buggers. I think we're going to figure them out though. We got plenty of daylight left and, uh, you know, every cast that we make, every fish that we encounter, we like learn a little bit something more. I think we're due for a nice bite for sure. Look at that one. There's one. There's one. Oh, they're starting to turn on though. I mean, these fish about an hour ago were not even chasing my jerk bait. But they are uh they are definitely a little bit more amped up to eat, which is good. We want to see positive fish activity, not negative. Say hello to the camera. Stinky. They're starting to eat good now. I like this. Now if we could just fool the baggins. Give them a little kiss. Bye bye. Look at this 13 pounder just full of eggs. Think he wants to eat a swim bait? Probably not. Oh my God. That's a nice one. No! I did not think that fish was gonna hit it. Holy shit. That was a big one, dude. Oh. That was a fucking giant. <laughs> nope, wasn't a carp. Wasn't a fucking carp. Dude, that was so big. Did it break you up? No. Just pulled hooks like a mother. I have no idea, but it happened. Dude, that they're starting to turn on a little bit. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, why did he not eat it though? Dude, they're they're turning on right now. All right, doing a little sit down tackle talk here for those of you guys who want to know how we're catching them. It is late winter, early spring, edging on early spring. I wouldn't even actually officially say it is spring here in Texas, but the water has been heating up over the past couple days. It's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. It was like in the high 40s not too long ago. And with that, we're we're kind of thinking in that really strong pre-spawn mentality. Like we're throwing lipless crankbaits, we're throwing clutches, we're throwing jerk baits. Uh, we implemented a little bit of glide bait fishing in the back of that cut, which 
worked really well to move fish and to get big fish to follow us, but we couldn't get them to commit. I just lost an absolute giant on actually a new soft plastic that we just launched not too long ago. This is the Sauce Swimmer, one of my favorite baits ever I've caught. Let's see, five double digits with the Saucy Swimmer on A-Rigs. It's such an awesome bait. I've caught a ton of fish on the Saucy Swimmer uh, at Amistad on underspins. And what we did is we basically shrunk it. We, honey, I shrunk the Saucy Swimmer. And uh, we now have a 2.8 inch size, which is something I'm really excited about because a lot of times when, you know, I'm fishing a deep clear reservoir like this and we're doing a bit of live scoping, it's nice to have something very small. A lot of, these, a lot of times these big bass won't go after big bait, depending on what kind of mood they are. They're gonna go after the little tiny threadfin chat, and with that, you can do a little tiny presentation. So I've got the little sauce swimmer on a eighth ounce jig head, which I'm rolling over some of these individual fishes like faces. Like if I see a big one floating, I'm gonna pick up the sauce swimmer. If I wanna cover water, if I'm fishing the grass edge, I'm picking up the deep diving jerk bait. And sometimes if we see some bigger fish grouped up together, we're picking up the glide bait. So we're just kind of like playing around with a bunch of different tactics, not really getting fully married to one or the other. Um, more or less focusing on location. Like we found fish back here. Legitimately, this could be a hot spot for sure if we get these fish to open up. But if you guys wanna pick up some of these soft swimmers, highly recommend it. These are awesome for peacock bass, largemouth, Big crappie, big crappie will go after bigger swim baits. And uh, this is amazing. Use my code John B to save 10% off your entire order. Get saucy with it. But that's it. Jerk baits, small swim baits, big swim baits. Try to do a bit of clutch fishing. Caught a couple on it, but it wasn't anything insane. We had a lot of daylight left. So uh, we're just going to play around with some different locations. But I think we're, we're piecing together pattern for sure. Let's keep cranking. There we go. He screamed at the dang thing. Another one for the 2.8 saucy. Saucy, saucy bass. Bass saucy. What's the discount code again? John B. Save 10% off. Wow. Look at that one. These are not big fish, but we'll take them. Why are they so gray in here? Is it just me or are these like fish like literally like Turn what's he got? Tail? Turn this way. Oh, Missing scales. Animal. You just want to touch them. Yeah. I just <laughs> needed that scent. Another one for the 2.8. Alright, I think we're gonna fish this cove for a couple more more minutes. A couple more more minutes. We're gonna fish this cove for a couple more minutes and then uh, head on over to something that looks very similar to this. Uh, definitely a spot that we might come back to before sunset because I think as the, as the day gets later, the, the better that this spot will be for sure. Also, the nice thing about this spot, there's no one here. Everywhere on the lake right now is packed. There's like a hundred boats in this little lake and uh, well, we got this whole cove to ourselves, so it's kind of nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That was crazy. A whole school of them over there. That's a little bit better. There's a whole school of them, dude. Like four or five. That's a little bit better. Come here. Oh, dude, get your jerk bait out, right? Oh my God, right in front of us. <laughs> There's a ton of fish. That's a little bit better. We might have found a little wolf pack of some dinkies. It's oh, a quality fish. Look where that. <laughs> look where that three point. Look where that two point eight inch. Saucy is that. Gone. Down the gullet. This one, probably my biggest today. Only about two pounds, but we'll take them. Thank you. Yeah. Dude, so many. Probably seen 100 fish today. Oh, got him. Oh, you all right? I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. It's thick. God. I was like, I was afraid to turn around. I was like, is that Grady's head or is that? I was like, no. Oh, I apologize. I almost got it. I was like, well, that sounds like someone's fucking scalp, but I'm going to pray that it's not. There's two, there's two of them. No, no, you're good. You should run right past them. God, that was a, you see, it's a bit of blind eye too. It, it was an old fish. Yeah, it was fat though. And they were, he was paired up like these two are right here. Look at that. Those are bass, man. Isn't that crazy, dude? Look at that. That's a good one, too.
<laughs> oh, me he's sideways. There, he might hit it again. Oh, he will. He didn't get freaked out at all. Oh, he pants you. Oh, he more than pants me. Look at that. Come on, crush it. Good one. Good one. Good one. Finally got one of those decent ones to bite. Just spit the hawk. No. With an eight pounder. <laughs> Finally got one of those decent ones to bite. There's two of them too. They were both about like seven, eight pounds. <laughs> I'm laughing because I, I can't be crying on camera. Oh my God. You see her? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Do you realize all day we've been casting at fish that big yeah. and bigger? All yeah. day. Those blobs are not as big as the ones we saw in the creek. Oh my god. That's f***ed up. F***. God. It's not good. No, it's not good. Uh, oh, I'm so oh, sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Oh my god. <laughs> they should all be doing that, but they're not. <laughs> Pulled up to the spot where we started, saw a fish in the graph, took one little like two inch flip and uh, and caught him. Not as big as the one I just dumped, but it's actually a pretty solid fish on the little tiny swim bait. We'll freaking take him. This lake is so packed right now. You got guys playing Leonard Skinner in their bass cats. Great song though. These Texas folks don't wave back. Here's a nice fish. It's actually a really beautiful fish. We'll take a nice little two pounder. Thanks, bud. Mama told me when I was young. Holy f balls. Oh my God, look at them all jump up from the surface. Yeah, see those aren't dark. Those are bass. <laughs> those are 100% yeah. bass. Good ones too. That's a bass. Whoa. But that's do it, sit in the same way that uh, those gar were. It's kind of confusing. There we go. Another one for the swimmer. Choked it, it choked it, choked it, choked it. Like gonzo. No coming back from that one, Bubba. I got you. I got you. There we go. Another one for the little mini swimmer. All these fish have like weird scales. You notice that? Like pretty much every fish we've had has been pretty beat up and worn out. Man, it feels so good to be out here catching some bass before this place shuts down. Shut it down! Shut it down! Good ones. That was cool. That was so cool. That wasn't even the one I was after. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. That's a much better one. Oh my god. Net. 100% net. On the spinning rod. <laughs> that's a good one. This is the one we want. Oh, it's a good one, homie. It's a good one. This is the one we've been after all day. Come on, homie. Come here. <laughs> oh, come here, Bubba. Line's still out. Yeah, you're good. That's all right. That's a good fish. That's the one we want, homie. That's the one we want on the ultralight spinning. <laughs> yes, yes sir. Oh, we've been working all day for a fish this big and we finally got her. Oh, bear. That's what? a nine pounder, dude. It was all tension. Ah, maybe. Dude, I, well. It's a little skinny, it's pounder, but it's got, the, it's got the frame for sure. Holy. Oh, man, finally got one. It's like, what's crazy is our second biggest one is, there's a huge margin in this lake. We've either seen fish this big today or we've seen and caught like one and two pounders. It's a beautiful fish, man. Holy hell. I'm gonna give her a quick drink and measure and weigh her and put her back. Let's go, dude. Oh. That was awesome.
awesome. It's been tedious. It's been a, gr a grind. Grady's been very patient. I've been in the front of the boat just graphing and searching and for a why. fish that big. Look at but that thing, dude. Panned out. That wasn't even the one I was after. I was after a much smaller fish, too. That's weird. I can't even tell how big that fish is. I know. It's That's weird. That's a nine-pounder, dude. That, I think? I think it's eight. Yeah, 25. 25 and a quarter. 25-inch bass. Could potentially at one point in time be a... It could have been a 10, or it could maybe be a 10 if she would have not eaten that tiny swim bait. If she had a big gizzard shed, she probably She's old. Old fish, She's for old sure. Fish. Any guesses on weight tonight? That is, oh wow, you're right. Closer to nine than I thought, eight. Eight, eight. Eight, seven. Eight pounder. 2023, feels good to finally have got one. I'm gonna give her a quick drink and send her back. Oh, that feels good, bro. That feels good. Time to set you free, old girl. I will never be able to catch you again, unfortunately, but this was a great moment. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Kicked off like a mule. Put it there, Caleb. Let's get a 10 now. <laughs> surface not bad i got him ain't that big it's a good fish though we'll take him i think we found a little nugget here man there's quite a few fish here and they're all like much bigger like even that, that one you caught a jerk bait was better quality there we go that is the meat we need <clears throat> yes sir nice little three four pounder Take them. Yeah, Grady brought up a good point. These fish are crazy, man. They're like missing scales or beat up, but they're pissed, man. They fight so hard in here. Quality bass. So you, bubble. All right, guys. Let's do a quick little post midday update. Lately, I've been trying to shed some light as to how I've been catching fish. I noticed the past couple of fishing videos, I've just been like so glued to fishing and like looking at my graph and casting at fish that I just haven't taken the time to like take a deep breath and show you guys how we're making it work. Like I said prior, so far the MVB has been just like a small little like swimmer, like a like 2.8 inch swimmer. And I wanna show you guys how I like to rig this deal. I would say up until like maybe two years ago, Folks really weren't fishing this rig particularly too much, but with forward facing sonar being so popular nowadays and bass guys and I guess fishing anglers alike being so hardcore and watching a fish try to chase your bait in. And this, this rig in particular has been very, very popular. And this is an awesome rig. Just even if you're like beating the bank, like this is a, a type of rig that I've thrown grew up as a kid for crappie, bluegill, bass, literally whatever. Take a look at this. You watch me, cameraman, follow me camera. All you need, is a little jig head. This is a 1 8 ounce lead head. The reason why I like using a lead head that's unpainted, that doesn't have any crazy eyeballs or anything like that, is because that lead uh, is easy to track on panoptics. I don't know the technical side of panoptics, but one thing I've observed is that if you've got more metal in front of your bait, the nose of your bait, it's easier to track uh, your lure. So that way you can watch your lure, go over a fish's head or go through a school of bait, or go over a brush pile. It's it's a weird thing. It's one of the reasons why A-Rigs show up so well. Other than the fact that an A-Rig is so big, it's just got so much metal to it so you can track it pretty easily. It's weird because like a six or seven inch soft swimmer, like a huge swim bait, is not the easiest bait to track because it's all rubber. It's got no reflection. I don't know the whole science behind it. Maybe you can answer in the comments. There's Grady with a nice fish. This is the rig we're using. One eight ounce, lead head jig. You can use tungsten, tungsten's nice. And we're taking a 2.3 inch soft swimmer sorry, 2.8 inch sausage swimmer, very tiny. And we're just throwing it right through the nose, making sure it's nice and neat. There's a very strong possibility that a lot of folks don't rig these right. And the key is just taking your time, making sure that hook point goes through the little hook slot that we've designed at the top end of this bait, just like that. 
you've got yourself a big bass catcher. 10 pound fluorocarbon, the 10 pound uh, braid, seven foot two rod with a 2,500 high speed spinning reel. And while I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, the only reason I'm catching this fish is because of live scope. Yeah, of course. But the reality of it is, is like, this is an amazing way to just cover water. Like if you're not too keen on throwing jerk baits, or if there's a ton of grass and you really can't throw a jerk bait, or you can't throw like your favorite treble bait or like reaction bait, this is an awesome way to get through grass, hover over structure, hover over brush piles, or whatever you're fishing and attracts fish. There's something to be said about downsizing. Like if you really can't get bit, one great way to get bit is to just downsize. Bass don't want to eat. What's going on there? Biggin? He's back there filming his own episode. Are you sure? Tune into my channel, guys, if you really <laughs> want to see how to catch fish. Grady's like, all that, I'm throwing a jerk bait. <laughs> how many fish have you caught today? He said well over 55. I love the uh, I love the El Salto hold on that one. Beautiful bass. Rack, brick. You're throwing a little jerk bait too. So yep, it, same applies. Little jerk bait, little swim bait. Gets the job done. Got a couple more hours left. Let's keep eating. There we go. That was so sick. On the glide. Came up and crushed it. Good one. Spit it. Oh my god. <laughs> they tend to do that. They the tend glide. to do that on the glide. That was a good one. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, it was like a five pounder. Damn. Uh, it is uh it is the end of the day. I'm going for broke. I'm throwing the glide. I just hooked up on a nice one. Literally busted on the surface. That was insane. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. They seem to be a little bit more active right now. We're gonna end the day in the spot where we saw most of our big fish. And uh, we're going to see if we can get some of these guys to commit. That one was all about that life. He was like, I'll eat that glide. This one too. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, oh. That's a nice one. That's a big fish for sure. That one, dude, that one trucked it. Damn, dude. Yeah. Pepper, dude. They're all they're all they're over doing this. What they're doing on the screen, right? I mean, yeah. I'm sure they are. They're all over this. You should have seen that eat on the on the screen. That was fucking nuts. Oh, he sees it. Way behind though. Come on. Catch up and crank it. Oh, nice. There we go. Jerk my fish. Wow, what the hell's going on? Oh, it's Holy a giant. It's a giant. It's one of those ones, man. I got her, no worries. I got her, no worries. Coming up again. I got her, no worries. <laughs> That's another good one. I'm sitting here watching you chase these fish down below <laughs> on the glide, and I'm hooked up to one. I'm like, that's so nice. Another biggin, dude. Another biggin. I'm glad we made the call to come back to this yeah. this spot. We are hooked up to a big one right now, wieners. I was watching Grady chase this caliber of fish with the glide on live scope, and I was just blind casting with the rip bait. She's jump on this nope, she's right here. She's coming close. <laughs> dude, she just woke up. It wasn't pulling worth a hell at first, and I'm like, dang. I, that. I thought you had a Grady fish on. Huh? And then head shakes, so I was like, oh, that feels decent. It's about to come up again. Oh, you asshole. That is a good one. So, this is, man, this is what we live for, dude. This is why we're out here. To experience this lake for the last time. Chase her down. <laughs> I'm going to keep her out of the grass. Damn, that is wild. How big is this, dude? Dude, it's a good fish. It is a good one. Like this is uh there she is on live scope can't put too much pressure on this fish i got 12 pound test super light hooks it's drawing the attention of other ones there's another one right under the boat oh, <laughs> holy go shoveling, dude, dude. <laughs> Woo! Look, at that thing. look at that oh barely hooked too barely hooked oh my gosh Whoa! Finishing strong, homie. Her, Finishing strong, bro. Holy hell. 
Just give me those pliers real quick. Look at this thing, man. One hook in her. Literally one hook in her. Uh, two, actually. Just barely hooked it. Oh, my gosh. Some of that East Texas meat, son. How big she goes? She's fatter than the last one for sure. Way fatter, yeah. Short though. Dang, short fish. Second big end of the day. An absolute unit. We're gonna get a quick measurement on this guy. So it's not as long as the last one. It's 23 and a half inches, but it's much fatter. I'm gonna go probably just over eight for sure. I'm gonna Oh, okay, on the high end, I'm going to go 9.3. 9.08. 9.08. Let's go, Holy baby. Shit, Eight dude. and a nine pounder. Holy hell, look at that fish. My second nine pounder of the season. That's definitely my biggest fish on a jerk bait, no doubt. Woo <laughs> why, awesome. why are they shutting this lake down? Boom. Don't do it. How much money you got? I got, ten, I got like 15 bucks. We could probably both pitch in and buy it. I got... Yeah, 15. All right. I, 15 and 5. I say we both pitch in All right. by this lake, and therefore we can keep catching donks like this. Good God. What a unit. Let's go, baby. Woo! Wow. Oh. Let's go, baby. Woke up at 3 a.m. this morning, drove three hours south, kind of took a chance on a lake that I really don't know anything about, and while we had to weave through some small fish, we caught some big ones, and it was all worth it. Yeah, keep fishing, never stop, baby.